Welcome to Pickle Fest episode four. I am excited to introduce really uh, somebody who I met, I want to say only two months ago, but it feels like I've known for a long, long time. I, I met Chef Sang through uh, Len uh, at the Depeneur doing their um, fermentation series. Uh, Sang and I sort of texted and I um, I'm quite honored to be selling your kimchi sandwiches and your own brand of kimchi. And if you want to just maybe say a little bit about your background and stuff, that'd be amazing. I grew up very like a typical immigrant uh, family. First five years of our lives here, grew up in eight different housing projects. It also happened to be the time when my parents finally uh, divorced and separated. So I grew up with a single mom who was never home. There was one librarian. She fed me when I came to the library. Oh, yeah? Because I used to steal... There were cupcakes and cookies. And one day she baked me a banana loaf bread and she said, share it with your younger brother and sister. And then she got me a job because she knew somebody at the Jane and Finch Plaza's Pizza Hut. It was my first jo job in the restaurant and, as a dishwasher. So that set me on my path in the restaurant business. Most of my restaurants have been Korean inspired or Japanese inspired. And what's interesting about Japanese restaurants is that there was a huge vacuum that was created after the Second World War here, where the Japanese community were forced to uh, break yeah. up. Sushi became popular and teriyaki became popular and all that. All, there was no Japanese chefs. And the ones that had to fill in were the ones that shared a symbiotic relationship with Koreans. the Japanese, which were Koreans, right. right? You know, pickles were immigrant food and they were made out of necessity. When you talk about kimchi, and now they're they're hipster. You know, like it's, it's you walk into a grocery store and there's seven different types of kimchi ranging from you know uh president's choice kimchi all the way up to some of the boutique stuff not even including the the authentic you know um korean brands that have been in market for years H how does that feel to see something that you know you ate you made yourself when you were eight years old because it was necessity because your parents were working in the store to to people paying up to twenty dollars a jar now for it yeah i mean it, it it is what it is i mean the, the fact of the matter is it is you know, the, the tag is as a superfood. And, and the reason why is, again, you have to look at the, the country that it's from, right? What you have is a very rocky, mountainous country that had long, long winters. So during those winters, you know, you couldn't go out to fish or hunt or grow anything. And so what do you do? Long fermentation was what's going to allow them to continue to not only feed their children and their uh, families over the long winter, but allow for something to be give them great rich nutrients i see it as a survival uh dish that they've uh over hundreds and hundreds of years managed to perfect do you want to tell us about what you got here because this is actually what you're going to be featuring at pickle fest right so this is a grilled cheese kimchi sandwich as a child when you're growing up here in canada right everybody's bringing um mac and cheese and they're bringing grilled cheese sandwiches in their spider-man uh lunch boxes you know what my mother used to do just to put rice and some kimchi. And of course, I would be sitting by myself at the, at the cafeteria table all the time, right? This is something that I did when I was like eight years old, right? Because I love kimchi, of course, and, and, I, and who doesn't love grilled cheese? Your mom would make it for you? Or you're like eight years old, you come home, you're like, mom, f this, I'm making my own lunches from Listen, now on. Listen, dude, we're an immigrant family. Right? Yep. My mother wasn't there, but there was always bread. You want to use as mild and sticky a cheese as possible. So, so I like mozzarella because it, you don't don't really taste it, but you get that texture of gooeyness and it allows the kimchi flavor to come through. Can I have a bite? Yeah. All right, yep. you gonna have a bite with me, my friend? Yeah, let's try it. It's funky, pungent. It's wonderful. Would you put a hot sauce on that? No. Or eat it pure? Just like that. Kimchi will, will take care of the heat. 